Hi guys, so let's get to assignment tutorial number two, AutoCAD mechanical drawing. Let's see what tools we are going to use for this particular exercise. Starting with the line command, I could use the line command to draw these lines just like we did in the previous exercise. At the same time, I'm going to explain you how to use the rectangle command instead of drawing four lines I'll just draw one rectangle in one go. The next is dimensioning where we dimension the object object snaps where we make sure our object snaps are on layers where we use the right layers for the right objects this is the object layer this is the dimension layer offset if I just start with one line I can offset this 2.75 I can offset this line in this direction 4.0 then the units we are using for this particular exercise is in inches we use the circle command to draw these five circles that you see here then I can use the copy command for instance these four circles are the same so I'll just draw one and copy the other ones then we have explode once I draw the rectangle the rectangle usually is in one piece see the lines are one two three four right the rectangle would be just one piece so I would want to explode that rectangle using the explode command okay so now let's get on with the exercise I am going to make my model top layer current because that's where I'll be drawing this I'll move the drawing to the side and I will draw right here so make sure you're following all the dimensions on the right side of your screen so starting with uh, rect uh, with line I hit L enter or L spacebar this is the tool for doing that if you don't want to use the keyboard specify the first point and then specify the next point is going to be 5 I just type 5 and hit enter then I'll go down going down 2.75 2 point seven five enter see I'm not even clicking I'm just putting the numbers and I go back this way four enter and then did I do it wrong it's four it's five actually if I go backspace or I hit escape I don't go control Z and go back five enter and I go back where I started so this is one of the ways of creating this rectangle now the other way of creating this rectangle is just by using the rectangle command R E C enter or you could go click that one now I'm gonna specify the first corner point anywhere on my screen and for the second corner point I'm going to specify as the dimension which is 5 comma 2.75 enter okay so if you see it created another object the same shape the difference between this one and this one and this is drawn with lines so all four lines are separate and this was drawn using the rectangle command so if you see everything is just one so when I use the rectangle command most probably I will have to go ahead and explode it how do I explode it by using the explode command right here I just type X for explode enter select objects click on the object and hit enter or spacebar so now you will see all four lines okay so I'm going to erase this by just selecting it like that and hitting delete 
so the next thing I need to do is I need to find the location for the circles okay so that's the reason why I had to explode my rectangle because I need to offset these lines to find where the circles meet so if I see the distance this is 0.5 from the edge till the center of the circle 0.5 from the edge till the center of the circle so I have to offset that distance using the offset command either I go here or I type O space bar specify offset distance 0.5 enter specify object to offset so I click on this object and the next thing it asks me is specify point on side to offset so I obviously want to offset on this side not on this side so I have to make sure that I click on this direction now again I can keep going click here and I want to offset on this side I can click there for my top little circle offset on this side click here offset on this side so now I already found where one two and three circles meet so what I will be doing is drawing this circle now using the circle command now the diameter of the circle is 0.5 so I draw the C space bar or use that the center of the circle is asked me to specify is right there see I can keep going right but I need to specify the diameter so I type D for diameter hit space bar now I would put in 0.5 enter so now I created that circle at a diameter of 0.5 now these two circles over here are the same so I can just copy these two circles here now there's another circle which is right here which I will have to offset and find the center location so how do I find the distance I know from this line is 1.1 so I'll offset O enter 1.1 enter from here till here now I need to get this distance now how much is this distance now I can do my calculation I can do uh, 2.75 minus 1.75 okay so that would give me as how much would give me as 1 so I will offset this as 1 from the top okay so this is where the location is for my last circle so once I have all my locations I'll just do copy command C O spacebar select the circle spacebar I want to copy right from the center I'm not gonna copy from the edges or anywhere else I'll copy from the center to the center to the center and to the center okay so now my circles are placed the only circle that's left is right in the middle so now once I'm done with these I can always click on these lines just like that and delete because I want to keep my drawing clean and avoid confusion now to get the middle circle there are a couple ways of doing that I could offset this line to the center offset that line to the center or one easy way is by using just my grips I can find the center so I'll go to the circle command hit enter I go to the center that's my center then I go to the center over here center number two then I move my mouse in this direction see it already showed me my center and this diameter is 1.5 so I do D space bar 1.5 enter so now I got my plate with all the four circles in all the right locations now the next thing I will have to do is just put the dimensioning so I go to the dimension layer go to linear hit OK click click and give it a location start right there 
click give it a location if I hit enter or space bar it repeats the same command so I, I don't need to keep going there then I can go click and click and give it a location okay click and click and give it that location then click and click and give it this location at this point 5 I can click on there and move it on this side okay again I could go to dimensioning now there's no command I have to click there or let's see I hit space bar it takes me back to the same command so I go click and click give me that dimensioning then an overall dimensioning by clicking there and going down here okay same thing you could do over here something went wrong click on it delete it if something goes wrong you have to hit escape first escapes takes you out of the command okay if I'm doing anything wrong I have to use escape key what escape does it cancels my command and takes me back to an empty command line so it's really important you use escape a lot so make sure you hit the escape key when you do anything wrong and you have to get out of that command so now go linear click click and give it a location space bar click click and give it a location so now I'm pretty much done here this is how you would do this exercise there's one more or a couple more which is the diameter symbols you can go there click on the diameter click on the circle give it a location click on the diameter click on the circle give it a location okay I can overwrite this text by saying these are four same circles of 0.5 diameter how do I overwrite I just click on it the window pops up text override so I can write 4 X diameter is percent percent C and 0 0.50 so this symbol is used for diameter okay now if I hit escape you see this is what I have so this exercise is done I hope you guys followed it the next exercise I would be working with is this one I'll be finishing a lot of exercises today so try to stay tuned share these lectures with your friends in your class as well as subscribe to my channel okay if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you